Yes, but I have to keep my sleep absolute consistent and be mindful of my circadian rhythm. But, if I miss the sleep train I'm up for four hours and my sleep is crap. I got a smart bracelet and over the course of a couple months train myself to always sleep 7, 5h on weekdays and 9h on weekends. Dot. I wake up more refreshed. Still grumpy though. And it's done wonders for my migraines. Provided I wake up naturally without any disturbances, yes. How? My mom does. I don't really understand it. And it's hard to be around her in the mornings because she talks and is excited about things. It's overwhelming. Your mom and I might be related. I am considered the only morning person in my family. I wake up and within five minutes I'm like a caffeinated Mr. Rogers. I wake up depressed or have a lack of motivation. Don't know how to get rid of that. Waking up with a fuck as the first expression. That's how my GF realized I really deal with that depression and frustration bullshit. Never. I wake up exhausted and in pain every single day. Pain gang rise up. Slowly because my spine is fucked up. No. I actually feel sleepier than I did at night. But I used to feel like a literal zombie trying to drag myself from the grave. Until the doctor made me take a blood test and realized I was severely iron deficient. Dot. I started taking supplements, and was like, wait a second, everyone feels like this? WTF why did no one tell me? In the night I have to force myself to sleep. I don't have insomnia. When I force it in five minutes I am already sleeping. But if not I always feel so full of energy at night like morning PPL do in the morning. Nope, not even slightly. I treat the morning with the contempt it deserves. Thank you. People feel refreshed? TF is that like? I feel disoriented, groggy, and annoyed at my very existence. And then I hit snooze and go back to bed. Since I quit alcohol, yes absolutely. People may not be realizing it's more connected than they think. I used to be able to power through but now even a few drinks has me off for a few days. I'll go out Saturday but it'll take me until Wednesday morning to feel good waking up again. Not fuzzy headed and groggy. So considering that, there's a good chance you could get into months long cycles of bad sleep not knowing what's the problem even if you're just a casual drinker going out Saturday and Wednesday. It can be as easy as that. Source. I had a birthday Sunday and I'm currently grogging my way through my day. I probably won't start feeling clear until sometime tomorrow. I hate this shit and I'm done making this a regular thing in my life. It's never been helpful and it's still affecting my life even when it's under control. No. Happy cake day fellow cake dayer. I often wonder about this. They say adults need about 8 hours but if I sleep for 8 hours I feel like shit. Therefore, I feel like shit most of the time. A good 12 hour night though? I feel incredible. Who are these mythical beings that only need to sleep for one third of their life rather than half to feel well? Or even less? These people tunning around on 6 or 7 hours full of energy. How do they do it? I need 9. And if I get less than 8 for more than one night I start falling apart and crying at the littlest thing. I get really irritated by the low priority society places on sleep. It's a foundation for good health, physical and mental, and people should get as much as they need. Yes, if I follow a couple of rules. Eat right. If I keep the majority of my diet free of highly processed foods and keep the sugar levels low, then it makes a huge difference to my energy levels in the morning. Drink plenty of water. Be consistent. Go to bed approximately the same time each night and wake up same time each morning. I don't have big sleep-ins over the weekend anymore. They make me sluggish and prone to migraines. By the way, knowing the right thing to do doesn't guarantee you'll do it. My eating is shit ATM. I cannot stress the water. If you go to sleep dehydrated you'll wake to feeling like shit. Also as soon as you wake up drink at least a glass. I eat a fairly shitty diet. Drink alcohol every day and smoke weed to get to sleep but I still wake up with heaps of energy most days.
Within 10 minutes of waking, I'm ready for anything, regardless of the day before. I'm very thankful for the ability to do this. I usually try to go to bed at the same time most nights, but I never sleep well. Hence the reason I smoke weed because at least I can get some semblance of sleep when I smoke. I rarely drink alcohol as I don't like the taste or smell but usually, when drinking I wake up quite fine the next day which is quite rare for me since I hate waking up even on my best days. Dot. Wonder if you'll wake up fine once you stop drinking. Not until I have a shower. And do you feel energized enough to take a shower? For that to happen you basically need to live right, eat right, exercise and not drink alcohol. If you're not doing those things above your body is too busy repairing other stuff to properly rest, which is why you'll wake up with no energy still. And go to sleep early. Morning is hell for me. It's why I work second shift and will as long as I can. Sleep all morning. Work all afternoon, evening, chill all night. Usually yes, but I slept like dog shit last night so not today. I do the 50% of mornings where my body didn't decide to wake me up at some ungodly early hour and sentence me to feeling like a zombie the entire day. This happens to me frequently. It's the worst. I am. But it's only because I have a routine to wind down in the evening, so I can sleep when it's time to go to bed. Dot. After a long shower, I turn off all the lights except for a lamp, turn down all my devices and leave them in another room. I turn down the thermostat to about 10 degrees colder than normal, turn on some white noise, open a book, read a few pages and drift off. Dot. I wake up 10 minutes before the alarm, lay there petting my dog for a few minutes, smell coffee brewing and get up. First thing I do is open windows, weather permitting, and let in fresh air. Then I sit by the window with my coffee for an hour before getting my grandson dressed, myself dressed and both of us fed. Dot. By the time I've dropped him off and got to work, I'm ready for the day. Okay I'm going to start doing this. No tears of joy. Lol. I sure as fuck don't. Never. I hate mornings. My husband wakes up feeling super fresh every morning and he knows to shut up until I've had at least two cups of coffee. My wife does this. It's so irritating to see someone so happy before I have my coffee. Like. Bitch we both got to go to a job we hate WTF are you in such a good mood for. Then I drink my coffee and I am like damn I am such a bitchy queen before I get my coffee. You have it so lucky. Rinse and repeat daily. How people are so happy and joyous about dragging themselves out of bed at the ass crack of dawn is beyond me. Not today. But some days, yeah. Best I get is, okay. I've slept enough to function. Do what needs to be done. Where's the coffee? I do. Dot. I'm jacked to the nines just about every morning. My GF said that I act like a kid at Christmas. She's the opposite, grumpy. So I sing her Christmas songs to try and cheer her up but it doesn't work. I can't imagine anything more on brand for a morning person than singing Christmas carols first thing in the morning. Your girlfriend is a saint. Only on the weekends. I can wake at 5 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday and feel great. Monday through Friday I crawl out of bed with zero energy and the wish I could sleep in.